uh, hope all are fine uh, so welcome to my channel so today's topic is section 8 already is uh, cleared is already discussed so i told that previous video that i will discuss uh, i'll explain about the holding symbol as per aws a 2.4 So AWS holding symbol you see here how to define depth of devil is a one is a inch effective throat one one eight all the all the uh, measurement will be in the inch one by eight inch is the room root opening sixty degrees the groove angle so this is the AWS holding symbol just uh, how to define it is mentioned here. You see, if you if you want to mention the process, you can mention the holding process here. GSF say value, one eight inch is the root gap. Sixty degree is the angle. You see, holding holds to be staggered. If it is staggered holding, if it is slow flight, you need the holding the staggered. How to define? How to symbol? How to define the symbol? You see, three dash ten. Three means is the holding line. And 10 means it is the center to center holding distance. You can see here center to center holding distance. And you have you can mention here process SMAW if it is SMAW, SMAW if it is GMAW, it is GMAW. AW sequence of operation you can mention the sequence last like this way first operation if you want to mention the FCW if you're doing NCW then you can mention FCW second operation if you mention other process you say SMAW you can mention those two you can mention it like this this you can define it like this way first operation second operation third operation if it is the first operation FCW 118 inch root opening city group angle 1 uh, one one eight inch is the uh, effective throat thickness. So second operation, third operation, you can see here. Second operation is the MT. Third operation is the RT. So everybody will understand if this is the symbol. Then first FCW, this is the joint design. And after joint design, first uh, this is the joint design. And FCAW will be the first one. Then it will be MT and the RT will be the. This is the entity. Dimension like length. 6 by 8, 6 11 of a window. One leg length is 6, 6 uh, mm and another is 8. So uh, we can mention here 6 by 8. Member A is 6 and member B is 8. So 6 leg on member A. So this is the holding symbol uh, as per AWS. As per C sub C1 as they mention like this only. Introduction of two welding process. This is section nine. So we already explained before what is welding, welding definition, welding process. So this is as for CSU 3.1. What are the welding process? And we have discussed also SMW welding, B welding, T welding in other videos. So you can check my channel. You can uh, easily understand how to define the all process. So we have holding processes we have defined others two parts one is pressure holding another is fusion holding pressure holding is the forge holding friction holding resistance holding and the fusion holding oxyacetylene holding manual metal arc welding that is called SMW welding filled metal arc welding meek mag welding metal inert gas welding metal active gas inert gas is the argon active gas is the carbon dioxide TIG welding tungsten inert gas welding sub work welding Submerge arc welding, electroslag welding, laser beam welding, electron beam welding. So this is the fusion welding. Actually, we are using uh, basically forge welding, friction welding, and the resistor welding. We have some of the production industry in uh, electronic uh, uh, industries. We can use this type of uh, forge welding, friction welding, or some of the production industries. But if you go the fabric, all the fabrication, the project, and the construction side, all this is fusion welding. We are using. There is a constant current power source dropping characteristic OCV striking voltage typical for arc addition. Okay, this is voltage and this is ampere. Normal operating voltage range is large volume variation 10 volt due to change in arc length. If the arc length is changed, then the large volume variation in 10 volt it will become in this condition 30 to 40 volt in this area. 
monitoring heat input how to how to monitor your heat input here the welding heat input the amount of heat generated in the welding at per unit length of the weld so how much heat generated when you fin doing the welding after finishing the welding after 1 meter how much heat generated that is called heat input welding per unit length of the weld how to express this one this is kilojoule per millimeter so heat input is well heat input how to measure what is the unit the kilojoule per mm what is the formula volts into ampere by travel speed into thousand the monitoring heat input you see when you are doing welding so in which area what are the temperature so you see here key to isotherm this is the yellow one this is 1500 degree centigrade this is the more temperature we are we are occurred here 1500 1200 is the next one you, have, you can see here is measure how is round the round is 1200 and after the 900 and then 600 and 300 is defined easy so this is two types of bead is there one is stringent 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 bead another is the weaving bead so stringent bead is not if not the weld bead will not be wider and the run out length is the weave bead with the if you electrode is using weave this is the wider bead this is the narrow bead the stringent bead is the narrow bead and the wider if the electrode is weaving this is wider bead so in the two conditions the heat input will be different monitoring heat input as required by bspn iso 15614 test 1 2004 and in accordance with EN. When impact requirement and hardness requirement are specified, means if need impact or hardness requirement as per WPS or any of the client requirement, then impact is shall be taken from the weld always the height, highest heat input position and the high hardness test shall be taken from the lowest heat input position. So you have to remember this one, impact it, when you have to carry out, we need to check the where the heat input is more we need to take from there the test piece and the hardness test we need to take the test piece from where the lower heat input position to qualify the all weld areas welding inspector this section 10 is manual meter arc welding the section 10 you see manual how to define the manual meter arc welding what is the principle of operation what are those are need to know for manual metal arc welding this is the consumable electrode we need flux covering flux is used for filling the metal and to weldability and the strength of the weld evolved gas seal gas seal used would contaminate it it prevent the contaminated uh, any atmosphere uh, atmosphere any metal it should not be affect the any problem in, in welding slag and weld metal this is the arc this is weld pool and the current metal so this is the one of the structure it define the principle how it is working the mma welding so mma welding the main feature is shielding shielding provided by decomposition of flux covering electrode consumable manual process so this is one of the manual process consumable electrode always using and the shielding provided different flux covering the flux is using flux covering the shielded is provided so why how it is shielding by shielding the flux covering in the electrode so it is the shielded so same thing when you are doing you are doing welding so there is a shielding is provided on the welding so it's good that it's keep the more strength and the weldability welder what is the control of welder the arc length angle of electrode speed of travel ampere setting these four things Holder can control the so manual meter arc basic equipment. What are the basic equipment requirement? It's a manual. This is the one structure of with equipment for need for manual meter arc welding. This is control panel, electrode oven. Oven is required because of some of the electrode is required continuously baking and it should be as per the manufacturer recommendation so electrode oven is the required electrodes are required return lead is there welder freezer filler plus filter plus is required power source holding oven inverter power source electrode holder power cable 
these are the all the equipment related for manual meter arc welding so manual meter arc welding kind what are the four types of machine we can use in the hair transformer rectifier generator inverter so changes main supply voltage to voltage suitable for welding has no moving part is often termed static plant if it is static plant is there you can use the transformer changes main supply voltage to a voltage rectifier if you change the ac to dc you can use the rectifier so you need as per what which type of uh, condition in that condition you can choose the transformer rectifier generator or inverter ma welding variable is the voltage what is the main variable is there for mma welding voltage the arc voltage in the mma process is measured as close to the arc as possible depend arc voltage always depend upon the arc length if the arc length is, is uh, variance is there is a uh, high or low then it will be the voltage will be the high or low same so ocv the open circuit voltage is the voltage required to initiate or reignite the electric current means voltage is the open circuit voltage one of the, this is the voltage to initiate the arc when the arc will create this voltage will be measured that is called open circuit voltage current the current used will be terminated by the choice of electrode electrode diameter and the metal type so current how will choose the current what is the what will be the mma holding current the it depends upon the electrode electrode diameter material type and thickness if the thickness is more you need the more current then current has the most effect on penetration polarity is generally determined by the operation electrode type dc positive dc negative and ac polarity we are using which type of polarity dc ep or dc en which if you go the wps you can understand that dc ep on dc en in the root we are using which one dc ep or dc en and the next one you can see we are changing the polarity Constant current power source, the drooping character is the normal same thing I already discussed in the previous one. MMA holding parameters. If the table speed is too low, what happens? If the table speed is too high, it is what happens. If the table speed is too low, why it will be to occur? Definitely, table speed is low means speed will be the more metal will be deposited than wide oil will be happening. Lack of penetration. Penetration will not be there because the table speed is too low. Or there will not be good penetration. Burn through, burn through can be happened because the current will be more when travel speed less, then the current will be more than it can be burned through. Too high, lack of root fusion. Root cannot be fusion if the too high travel speed, the fusion will not be completed properly. Then, then, then that is called lack of root fusion, incomplete root penetration. Then, if the fusion not happen, then penetration will not be happened. Undercut definitely if the travel speed is too high, undercut will come. Poor bit profile, bit profile will be poor, difficult, sudden flag removal. Flag cannot be removed easily. The type of under type of current you can see here type of current voltage drop in welding cable, a inductive losses can appear with AC, cheaper power source of AC, no problem with our flow. So this is the type of current what are the what we can use for MMA welding parameter. Welding current approximately 35 ampere per mm of diameter. Gom, gom, depend upon depend upon holding current always depend upon already discussed government thickness by type of joint and holding position if the holding current is too low what will happen and the too high holding current is too low means poor starting starting point will be poor this is one of the defect as per is 3.1 poor starting is the defect flag inclusion flag will become this is holding current is too low the flag will become well bit contour too high bit contour will be high Lack of fusion, fusion will not be happen properly. Too high, the spatter, spatter will come. The current is too, too high, the spatter will come. Excess penetration, penetration will be more. Undercut, the main parent metal will be the melted. Then it will be cut. It will be called undercut. One, two, one, two will happen. The current will be more. Arc length equal to arc voltage, too low and too high. What is arc length? See, totally arc voltage. Arc voltage totally depends on the arc length. So arc length, if it is too low, then arc can be extinguished. Arc can be extinguished or starving. Starving, it can be starved. Then you have to remove that electrode and you have to 
clean that rounded that area then you have to do again welding so stabbing also big problem too high if it is arc length is too high spatter will come porosity will come excess penetration and the undercut and the burn through so these are the defect will come if the too high this is if you generally give the deeper penetration polarity so you see here mm travel shooting uh, how it is looks like if the difference of current arc length or voltage you see here mm quality left to right first is current arc length and the travel speed is normal everything is normal then you have to see the good welding good welding visual is there so you can understand from this welding visual the current or arc length and the travel speed is normal current too low it's happened it's like that you can see here current is too low there is the bead is up and down it's not correct uh old bead current too high you see current too high the spatter and the uh, old metal is deposited and it's the very wider arc length is too short arc length is too short you can see here old bead is uh, already it's not visually uh, seen it's correct so table speed is too low table speed is too low you see here poor start okay and also the wider bead and the bead is very up down because the uh, this is the fluctuation and the spatter also there table speed is too high table speed is too high you see the there is not more old metal deposition and so as but not the as but not the w base it is not never acceptable this type of holding mma electrode holder how it will hand collect or twist type and the tongs type with spring loaded job so this type of mma electrode holder we are using at site so uh, this we will discuss mma welding concept with the next video because if it is goes this one it will be the logo long so this is the last one so thanks a lot for watching this video again and uh, don't forget to share and subscribe my video i am very interested uh, for to upload this video because so many people encourage me for liking and sharing the video thanks and please uh, always uh, after watching the video please comment and so i will check the if there is a comment if you think anything you need more so i'll explain to you thank you